Unit 30, question 94. Which one of the following represents the latest stage in the meiotic division of the diploid cell whose nucleus usually contains four chromosomes? So uh, 2n is equal to 4. And uh, so, yeah, a mm, couple of things to keep in mind. One, some people like to remember p mat i, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and interphase. And, um, and that meiosis uh, is, a, uh, is a, you know, the first division of meiosis is a uh, reduction division. So uh, if you start with um, a diploid state, which is 2n, um, of course n is the haploid state, and, in, and for humans that's n is equal to 23 chromosomes, diploid is 46 chromosomes. Um, but here, uh, you know, the, the diploid state we're being told is four chromosomes. So um, the, in the first phase, in, in prophase, we would see those, uh, you know, uh, four chromosomes just uh, decondense, you know, they would uh, decondense, uh, the chromatin would decondense so that, I'm sorry, yeah, it would condense so that we can, um, we can uh, see them uh, clearly uh, in the microscope. And, and of course, there's uh, um, the spindle shells, spindle um, starts to form with the micro microtubules and the asters and, uh, and the centrioles and so on. So we have um, prophase and then um, metaphase, you get the uh, lining up in the along the equatorial plate, and and really what you get is the um, um, you get lining up of the uh, chromosomes, um, uh, and you have these tetrads, which were you know with four of them, um, you know pieces that uh, line up in prophase as well. You get some crossing over and uh, exchange of DNA parts uh, among uh, homologous uh, chromosomes. And uh, the crossing over, the rate of crossing over depends on how close they are um, on the uh, DNA chain or the proximity. And, um, and then they line up along the equatorial plate. The uh, microtubules insert uh, into the uh, kinetochores and then they pull these chromosomes apart. And you see it's quite different from, uh, from mitosis when they cr pull the chromatids apart. So, and then in anaphase, you see the chromosomes, you know, the chromosomes with their chromatids being pulled apart into the uh, different uh, cells. And then um, uh, you have a nuclear, this is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and then a, a telophase, you have a nuclear membrane reformation, you have cytokinesis, where the cytoplasm divides, usually have a short interface, and then, then everything starts looking uh, like uh, mitosis, um, in which you you get to see the um, again, you will get only two chromosomes now, uh, and then these will line up along the equatorial plate, and these will be pulled apart. Uh, by the microtubules, but their chromatids will be pulled apart this time, uh, not the entire chromosomes. So they will split down their centromere and uh, pulled by their kinetochores um, into uh, each side. And then again, you get uh, uh, nuclear reformation, cytokinesis, and, um, and there you go. So um, if you uh, look at answer choice one, Roman numeral one, you can see that that is uh, referring to anaphase two, okay? So um, uh, where this is prophase, metaphase, and this is anaphase two over here, that's Roman numeral one. Roman numeral two, uh, what they're showing is uh, metaphase um, one. So they're showing you uh, this over here. So this is uh, before the uh, reduction division, and then um, Anaphase one is uh, Roman numeral three. So that's uh, anaphase one where you're seeing these being pulled uh, apart. And Roman numeral four is, is more like a mitotic um, uh, event that's uh, happening. And uh, um, so, yeah. 
So there you go. So the answer to uh, which one is a diploid cell represents the last stage in the meiotic, uh, divi uh, meiotic division. That's anaphase two, and um, and that's it. And that's answer choice A. And uh, if you want to look at uh, you know two two n uh, four chromosome uh, in the book, you can you can see the whole thing uh, taking place in slow motion in, uh, in bio fourteen. Point two.